very long time to Hypermine Vanilla or Hypercraft as its other name is. Where am I? I'm on a tower or at least the start of a tower that I've been working on doing some construction for. So I've just decided after a little while, after I've had my break, everything's wound down. I felt like coming back and you know that's what I was hoping for when I took the break to begin with that the creative juices would start flowing again and I'd be able to return to Minecraft and yep that has indeed happened I've managed to make it back out of the way creeper no one likes you uh, I managed to make it back onto the game find some inspiration and ideas for it. I'm just going to run back to town, dodging all the zombies and skeletons like a pro. It's like I haven't been away a day. Uh, but yeah, I um, just want to get somewhere safe. Apparently there is no such thing. Bit of lag. We jump around here. Here we are in the uh, town centre. Well, not the centre, but in the back in Hyper Town or whatever it's called. Building over there, but we're going to go out in that in a bit. So because I've been away for a while, obviously a lot's been done. I've got all these new buildings. What's this? The uh, get pumped, Jim. I'm pumped. Right. So we've got that going on. Uh, this is where I was originally building. I've got to figure out what I'm doing with this. I may tear that all down. I may leave it. You know, I haven't decided yet. But um. Getting back towards town, this is pretty much town centre with the park. Look at it, it's all lovely and full of flowers. The big tree. I don't think that's a Christmas tree, but it's a big tree. Uh we got the new we got we've got the town hall in the new town hall under construction by Lapis Lori. She's only she's just got the perimeter laid out and everything. It looks pretty cool so far though. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And down here we got all our underground services. We've got a lot going on here. Um, I will do a tour. I'm not going to do a tour now, you know. I'm going to get someone who's actually been active to come show me around, catch me up on all the stuff and things that I've been missing. So, what we're going to do today is run back over to my tower, hopefully when the sun's up and all the mobs are gone. Uh, I'm going to go over what I'm doing and get on the server, because, again, it's been a while. Um, this is a newish server. Yeah, that's where I was going. You see, they got the dragon egg. Wonder how much they'd hate me if I just tapped it. I just give a little tap. But yeah, because I've been away since near enough the server started. I mean, I played for like a day. No, not to, no. Give it. We played for like a week to like gather and start building and coming up with ideas. But that's around about the time my uh, my enthusiasm and my inspiration just dropped and I thought well it dropped before the server came out before this new one came out and I thought well the new server might re-spark that um, creativity for Minecraft but uh, unfortunately it didn't um, so that's why I needed my break but now I'm back I've got some ideas now the whole community thing I didn't want to go too far I have not gone too far and within sight of the town and I do plan to work out of here, but I want to work on a big series long build. I want to commit to a big build and it's going to be similar to the one I was doing on the last server at the end with my kingdom. But I've decided I'm going to work on a bigger scale this time. I think my issue last one was the scale. So when it comes to epic builds and all that, you know, I thought, eh, I'll just do this. Da, 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 da. And it was cool. I was enjoying it but bigger, bigger this time. So, I got my tower. This tower, this is the bottom layer. It's going to be at least three layers, maybe four. Uh, and this is the first tower. This is the watchtower. So this is the scale of just the watchtower. And you can already see it's, you know, pretty chunky. You know, it's not huge, but for a watchtower, it's pretty big. So if we come up, you can see we've got good view of um, Dolan's tower thing. I mean, I'm going to try something. I tried this a minute ago. And it, yeah, it is, it is. 
Ladies and gentlemen, do not suggest your viewing material. This is not an error at your end. I have no idea what this bug is, what's causing it, but I'm apparently stuck at my 12 render distance. Um, so yeah, let's uh, change this back down. Why don't I go to 13? Is 13 okay? Nope, 13's now doing it over there. Okay, let's... Let's uh, quickly just step down, because that's a bit crazy. Uh, video settings, 12 chunks. 12 chunks seems to be my safe limit for some unknown reason. Ooh, I nearly fell in there. Now, the uh, we go back into the build now. Back into the build. Uh, the build, ooh, that is not what I wanted to put there at all. There's going to be three main building materials, obviously. Subject change per building, different buildings, different things. But the three main buildings, as you may have noticed, are going to be stone, which is nice and abundant with good base colour. Granite for, uh, for depth and shading, give it a bit of extra colour. And quartz for highlights, because we've got, we're not only plain quartz, we've got, um, you know, we've got the different sorts of quartz as well. Like the pillars and stuff like that. Now, Watchtower. We're going to come around here, and there's going to be not much along here, are there? This is pretty much going to be just terraform and have a road on it. And then up here, on this little plateau, I flattened it a bit, did a bit of terraforming, so this is flatter than it was. It's going to be one of the towers to the main gates, the other one which will be on that hill over there, which I have not terraformed this hill yet. Not done this one at all. This is all natural, this one. This one I'm probably going to have to extend rather than shrink to grow a bit. And then, this is just this is just for the watchtowers so far. That's all I've got planned. And we're going to have a final one up on this cliff. And this will be like the sort of big artillery one. There you go. You can see where I've sort of flattened this out. So I'll have a tower here and we're going to have some sort of awesome cannons sticking out of here. On this bit of locking down. And that that little flattened bit there, did some terraforming there as well, is where the entrance is going to be, with some stairs coming down here, with a road probably leading back to the main town. Now inside of here we've got this nice big flat area, similar to what I had last series, uh, and I'm going to do a, similar to last series, it's going to be like a town, but I'm going to do it a bit more planning this time, you know, plan out some roads, um, or start building, you know, pick out some key locations like, let's see, we've got all the watchtowers up here, so we might have a barracks about here or something, you know, those sort of things, and just work on a bigger scale than last time. I think it's going to be a lot nicer. Now I'm going to want to do walls and all that again. Um, probably when I'm going to have the tower up there, I'll have a wall along this bit, because it's got a bit of a natural wall already, but we can always make it a bit more defensive. But one thing at a time, working on this tower. Now, this tower is just going to be the start of my operations because it's within the closest uh, overlook of town. See, you can see right the town. Again, I would turn my view up, but let me try boosting it. And then, oh, there it goes again. F3A. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. I don't know why that does it. It's cool. Cool, but not what I want to play with, so back down you go, sadly. Okay, I'll leave that for now. So basically all I'm doing is working in freeze. So where'd I get up to? Yeah, so just building it up. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Hop up like this. And then we just put a bit of quartz in here. Just using plain quartz for the time being, just because I don't want to be too weird about it to start with. And this is going to be the main cannon floor. So this is going to be not fully medieval, somewhere sort of in between medieval and um, going after medieval Victorian. Mm. Oh no, that's not what's going to be there. Um, 
Industrial Revolution Age. There we go, we'll just go with that. Um, somewhere in between those two ages, because we're going to have uh, things like cannons, but at the same time we're going to have all these towers, a blacksmith, you know, all that sort of stuff that you get more often in a uh, medieval sword. But it's going to be a bit, just a tiny bit steampunky in that regard, I suppose. Just a tiny bit, you know. Not enough that you go, ooh, that's steampunk, but enough that you could associate it with. Right, so let's get some more stone. Now, I'm just going to go around do all these first, just so I can see where the quartz is, because obviously we don't need to go over that again. Uh, put that back in there. Now, I'm trying to save resources, because I don't have too much at the moment. I should, really, go strip mining. Uh, and I found, I'm pleasantly surprised, not every cave underneath this area is completely mined out. I thought, with everyone like playing on the server and how many people we've got, the entire thing would be completely exhausted of supplies by now. And I was wrong. I found some gold, I found some diamond, and did I find any diamonds? I've got a lot of iron, I know that much. Right. Just gonna fill all these in. Uh, yeah, so there's still actually resources to get, it's just the matter of getting them. You can see it's uh, getting there, getting there. Uh, it's going to be a long-term project, this one. Not not the tower itself, but each separate section. Now, I did want something there, actually. Actually, no, we'll do that on the top floor. Top floor with the cannon facing that way, because I've already threatened uh, Dolan with it. Gotta have a nice threatening cannon every once in a while. Donovan's on at the moment because he uh, lent me his fortune pick so I could get this quartz. Because quartz isn't exactly the most abundant resource. So I wanted to use a fortune pick and he very kindly let me use his. Right. Ooh, no, you don't go there. So there we go. Then we just gotta go all around like so. I don't usually do too much lock placing on camera, so I usually find it gets tedious after a while, but I feel I need to do a bit of work. Oh no, I'm out of stone. Right, let's jump down, break my shins, see if I've got any stone left. If not, which is a not, I've only got 16. I'm gonna, where's that charcoal? Was in the bottom. Throw those in there. Let them cook, and we'll have a look at how it's looking. In the meantime, I really should get rid of this tree. I don't have an axe, though. Yeah, you can see the style there. Um, I might change some of those quartz blocks to something else. Not something else, but, you know, stairs or slabs. These look a bit chunky. I do need to put more of these little sconce sort of things in there, the little cobblestone with stone with lighting on top. Now I do want to ideally use something like okay, something like um, glowstone but obviously that's a bit in short supply well not in short supply but harder to obtain than just torches so we're just doing this for now Ah, no, I'm out of torches. Uh, after I just said torches are in abundance, I run out. Typical. Right. Then, these are the different ones. These are the lower ones. So they sort of come down here. Okay, so let's see how that looks down below. I just want to get this one layer finished for now. And then we'll cut away from either finish the outside. Oh, that's better. I still got to do the side ones. Those always there. I think I took out. Oh no 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 no. That's correct. I think that will look better when I actually get blocks in. Because I originally had it. Every layer there was quartz. I had torches, but that just looked too bulky. Um, and that might look too bulky on that corner as well, actually. Just there, I think, it's a bit much. I do want something on the corners, which is the 
tricky bit. But yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do is leave these for now. Just leave them until the tower's uh, finished. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this to smell up and I will get the outside structure done. So that'll be the rest of this floor. Probably won't get the roof done. I might leave that for a little while. But I'll get the next two, well, the, this floor and the next one done. I'll be back in a moment.